Automation is such a powerful tool, it's available to all of us, no matter what DAW you're using. However, I'm as guilty as a lot of other people when it comes to being a little bit lazy using automation and maybe relying a little bit too much on plugins. I'm using automation today in its simplest but most potent form to make sure that my lead vocal stays audible for the listener throughout the track. I'm gonna be taming some of those inconsistent peaks in my vocal track so that my compressor doesn't have to work so hard. And I'm also gonna use volume automation artistically to bring an element of the vocal track out to really draw my listeners' attention in. Let's dive straight in. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, right click and bring up show slash hide automation. And that's gonna bring up uh, this line here, which is our volume. That corresponds with the fader here. So any moves that I make up here, I'm gonna move the fader down here. And that's where we're gonna write in our automation. So here's our vocal in green. If I just zoom in a little bit more, we can see there's a few obvious points where I can see the vocal really jumping out, especially around this area, somewhere around the chorus, this part here. So let's go check it out. These guys so just on guys, let's isolate these it. Guys so we can hear on guys it's really jumping out, so I'm giving it some beans on the vocals. So this is where we could bring in some automation just to ease off those peaks a little bit and smooth out our vocal performance. So I'm going to bring our automation back uh, back up. Now what we could do is uh, if we don't have if you don't have a, a, con a controller like fader port that I've got here, you can do it manually. Just bring in uh, some nodes, just left click and yes it is a little bit fiddly. Um, just bring in a little bit of a cut. Just around guys. Who's these guys? Community cups. Oh, who's these guys? Community cups. It's on read, and then with it off. Who's these guys? Community cups. Right, so we just moved it out. Just these guys. Community cups. Enough. If you're using um, fader port like I am here, then you can just simply click this on to write, and you can move the fader, and it makes life a little bit easier. Here's another one. Make it stop. Once again, I'm just going to bring in a couple of nodes, just left clicking. Uh, I'm going to make a little cut. Stop. Make it stop. So Let's take a listen to that one in the mix. Make it stop. Someone please. So you can work throughout your mix in this manner, smoothing out those peaks to make sure that everything's coming through at an even, audible level for the listener. Uh, now, looking further down, uh, this vocal performance, you can see towards the end of the chorus, it really tapers off. Let's just take a listen to that. Free the beast. I know we got life. This is day release. So it's almost spoken there uh, towards the end. Now, whilst there it still isn't uh, any other instruments going on, it still feels like it really wants to draw the attention of the listener and it's going to just dip and be a bit too quiet. So what I'm going to do again is I'm going to... Uh, bring in a couple of these nodes and I'm going to give it a couple of dB boost so let's give it a 3 dB boost somewhere around there let's take a listen Free the beast. I know we got life this is day release way better let's check it out without just sounds a little bit under the mix um, Really, just a bit too quiet on the, the first beast. one. I know we got life. This is day release. And by automating in that 3 dB boost, we've not only helped to smooth everything out and make sure that the listener can hear everything that's going on, but it also really um, underlines uh, that line as a hook and something that uh, the listener would sing along to, rather than a vocal which kind of dips and gets a bit quiet when all the instruments um, disappear. So yes, it is a bit of a boring job. Yes, it is a little bit time consuming, but it does pay you back in spades. It's gonna help you to avoid over compressing your vocal. It's gonna keep it sounding natural whilst even and still punching through the mix. It's gonna give you a really professional vocal, which is so super important because that lead vocal is so key to your mix sounding nice and pro. I've got a free vocal EQ cheat sheet. You can grab that from below this video if you want to take your mixing skills to the next level. I've got a whole bunch of courses. You'll find the link to those as well below this video. I'm going to give you a discount code right now of YouTube10, which will get you 10% off those. Of course, don't forget to like and subscribe here on YouTube. 
I'll see you next time.